other bold and drivers left here in case anybody's coming up behind us. We use a first lap as a reconnaissance lap to be able to uh, see where the course goes. In the meantime, paying attention to those reference points Jeff talked about. The cones on the outside of each and every corner. To tell us, you know, break reference points as well as the last cone being our turn in point. Each apex or curbing there is going to have a stand long stand up cone. That's going to be our inside clipping point where we want to get ourselves down to the closest point. We can pretty much maintain third gear through this entire section. We're only going to see fourth through turn five here. We're just balancing the throttle, it doesn't require any brakes. Get it down to the inside. Want to keep a little bit of a tighter train here, guys. I want you to mimic everything still. When those brake lights come on, they're just simulating where we need to be rolling on that pedal. You notice the line we're taking through the corner. We're going all the way to the outside. We're getting down to the curbing and then back to the outside, effectively straightening out each and every corner for our least amount of steering input, therefore we can carry the most momentum through the corner. We ought to get down to those apexes, though, those curves. So that means you need to be looking at them well before you get there, so your hands know what to do. They can be anticipating rather than reacting as they come up to you. This is going to be especially important through the S's here. You want to keep a nice tight train. Each and every one of those tall, tall stand-up cones, we need to be clipping pretty much in a straight manner here. Look for those cones well before you get there. Again, your hands will bring you down. My eyes already looking for the right-hander. Get down to the flat of the curb. Trust the car to truck back out all the way to the edge of the road. We'll be rolling into fourth gear. A little brush to the brakes when your hands are straight. Get it down to the inside of the curb. We're looking for that curb well before we get there. Right side so there's, there's a on the uh, track. So he's just going to kind of stay between you guys. Just so you know if you see a, a light blue R8. Coming in turn 11, you'll notice the line we're taking through the corners. Holding out wide. Slowly <laughs> taking the car down to the inside nice and late. Accelerating on the hand or straightening out. We kind of missed the apex there. So be looking for it. Get it all the way down to the inside of the curb. Yeah, make 17 because we don't have 17 cars. So we're make not going to force you. You're going to feel a bump under the front tires. The good reference point is you start bending the car into the corner. Eyes looking for your turn in point, that lone cone on our right. Turn it in. Want those left side tires to be parallel with the curb here as that brake is applied. Getting the car down to the inside of the curb. Rolling on the power, use the exit road. Brakes from the hands are in a straight line, nice late apex. You'll notice we're holding drivers left, effectively opening it up. Turn 3A's radius. Use all the road on the exit. Turn 4, we're hard brakes initially here. And you'll notice the brake lights pretty much carry all the way down to the apex to keep that front end loaded. That track falls away from us.
dark R8 is going to go ahead and move drivers right, letting the second R8 go ahead and move up behind the RS5, leading the train. Bring it all the way down the inside. No, 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 we're not going to do it until the exit here. So now dark R8, move drivers right, silver R8, slot up behind the RS5. Perfect, there we go, guys. We're in fourth gear here. A couple reference points to be paying attention to that might help line the car up in the correct locations on the racetrack. If your eyes are looking up, you can see the second okay, train from the right or the white flaggers box is a good reference point to be pointed towards before we turn the car in the flat of the curb and turn two. Accelerating when those hands are straightening out. Turn into turn three here, holding drivers left. If your eyes look up into the distance, you'll notice there's a pile of rocks. The front end should be pointed towards those rocks as you exit. Another good reference point to trust that blind press. Balance throttle here, we can go up into fourth gear. As we get over the crest of the hill here, you're just gonna brush the brakes lead off some speed as we slowly with our hands turn the car into the corner bringing it closer and closer to the curb tracking all the way to the exit and we can use that power and do all your braking and downshift there a straight line before you turn the car into the corner Late turn and get to the curb well late so your hands will be straightening out, powering down. This is all going to be under balanced throttle. We don't really want to use the brake and upset the platform in the middle.